So although this looks like a pretty intimidating equation to balance, it's not too bad. We have calcium and then we have the acetate ion. Then we have sodium and the carbonate ion. So calcium acetate plus sodium carbonate. You may see that the acetate ion here is written CH3COO. So sometimes you'll see that. Sometimes you'll see it as C2H3O2. So we'll go with this here. Let's count the atoms up and I'll show you a trick to make this a lot easier. We have one calcium and then this acetate ion, we have it here. We actually have two of them and we have it over here. So we're just going to count this acetate ion as one thing. So we have the acetate ion, we have two of them right here, and then we have two sodiums. And again, we have a carbonate here and here, just count it as one thing. So we have one carbonate. Product side, we have one calcium, we have one acetate ion, one sodium and one carbonate. So you can see that this is a lot neater. It's easy to see what we need to do. You get the same answer either way. This is just a lot faster. I can see that I need two acetates here and then two sodiums here. And all I have to do is put a two in front of the sodium acetate. One times two, that's two. And then the whole acetate here, one of these times two, that'll give me two of those. We're done. This equation is balanced. So again, if you have a polyatomic ion here and here, or like we have the carbonate on both sides, just count it as one thing. It makes the balancing a lot easier. If we were to look at the states for these substances, we'd see that everything is aqueous except for the calcium carbonate, which is going to be a solid. So this will be our precipitate when we have this reaction take place. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for calcium acetate plus sodium carbonate. Thanks for watching.